Welcome back to the last game, round three of our Thursday night party. Um, let's get rid of Fog of War, actually. All right, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Uh, teams were the same for the first two rounds, but then we had some people drop. We had some people come back in. Um, so this time we had uh, me as the Gajaros again. I kind of like them. Um, actually, I think I may not use the Gajaros again. Now that Jeff had his spreadsheet made, I don't want to go on another tangent of try and win with every sieve, but I do want to use every sieve in Jeff's spreadsheet. So if a, if a sieve hasn't just been used, I want to use it just so we have some data. Um, then we have Larry as the Spanish. Love it every time I can play with Larry. I unfortunately got ranked up to an 8 for this game. But then I saw the Larry's got my team, and I was like, yeah! Okay, you can make me an 8 if I get to play with Larry. Always a fun time. Um, then we have Tanner as the Slavs. Um, and then we have Jake McKean as the Khmer. Tanner and Jake actually did a really... Kind of like what I said in the previous rewatch, Jake does really well when he's playing with somebody else. Um, one on one, there's always something missing to his composition. But if he's got another person there, he supports like none other. Every single rewatch I've seen where he's paired with somebody, he rolls, he steamrolls. Um, so Jake is a really, really good uh, support player, good teammate. Um, then we have on the other side, actually let's switch to another view. We have Barzi matched up right across from me. This is a very interesting matchup because it's not like people are just over here. You have Tanner in the corner that he's got Jake basically in front of him. And same with this. So we have Barzi and then you have Taylor back here behind him. They're not like next to him. So, uh, then we have Red, we have Jeff as the Mongols, and then in the purple we have Joel as the Pole. Um, let's check the walling situation real quick. So I was, I'm a very stickler for walls on these rewatches, and I, I was told, and it was pointed out to me, that I never finished my wall. So this was all queued up, do 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 do, it's all good, 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 and... At some point, Larry built his wall up to here, but for some reason, these two spots did not get finished. So technically, if somebody came through, uh, this isn't Jono, right? Yeah, this is Jeff. If the other team had a Jono, what Jono does best is he plunges through and he starts scouting the walls. If he would have, if we would have been against Jono, he probably would have at some point plunged like 50 paladins. Scouted the wall, found it, and right into the trade. It would have been really bad. Uh, so, my bad. <laughs> um, okay, so looks like we're getting ready. Let me fast forward just a little bit. Um, Barzi's going to be here. I'm actually really lucky that Barzi didn't have his typical uh, setup. He really only had his one, one layer right here. And so we just ended up cutting around with, with Larry. So... But it looks like everyone's getting ready. Um, and yeah, Taylor's here as always. He's kind of everywhere. Look at this wall situation. Um, Joel's always a really good waller. He, he does a back wall, but he also has... I don't know if this helps or not. This this wall like right up against the tree line. I've never done it. Um, but he's got one in the back, so you know it's, it's good. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's all this wall looks good. This... Oh, this is technically wall, kind of. So this isn't wall. This just it's got houses here, but uh, I don't know. I don't think that actually uh, became a factor. Um, so a lot of the match is gonna be right here when I cut in. So all right, so seven seconds. Um, I don't quite have a military up yet, but I have some buildings. I don't have enough buildings, even though I didn't have a lot of buildings. Gajaros go through so much gold between the elephants and the camels. So much gold. Both games, I was just, I ran out of gold so quick. I think by the end, um, after all the villagers have mined all the gold, I think I had 80, 90 plus trade carts, and I still could not just get enough gold. Uh, luckily, Jake was such a good teammate. He 
he sent a lot of resources um, to me, and like I would get gold, I'm like, okay, trade cards, build them all. And then it was just I would still run out because eventually I would have to build gold units. All right, so Larry is cutting for me, um, which is nice because then I don't have to spend the time and resources to get the, the onagers. Um, so he's about to cut. We're about to cut right into Barzy. barzy has got one onager here. He does not have military over here. He's got the one siege workshop, but then that's it. All right, so Taylor's trying to, like, double wall over here. Um, got Jeff over here with a couple of a couple buildings. We have Barzy over here, so... And we're through, and there we go. Uh, oh, I totally missed this cut, so they cut just as early as we did. They just did it faster. All right, so Tanner and um, Tanner and Jake have gone through. See, Tanner's got all the he's got all the the meat shield. He's got all the infantry. Jake's got all the siege. Um, Tanner eventually is going to come with his own siege. So, I mean, they just—it's a really, really stinking good combo. Uh, I don't see that there's any other cuts in the middle. Um, let's go over here. All right, so Larry and I are through. Um, Eventually, I, you know, I kind of clogged this up a few times, but luckily Larry was there to help me uh, continue everything forward. We get some bombard cannons in. Um, eventually, we do get this onager, and we do cut around. So uh, Larry goes exploring with his troops. He's going over there, um, kind of meeting them head on. Gives us enough time to just kind of get some troops through the through the window. Um, didn't hit quite as hard as maybe we would have liked, but we hit hard enough. Yep, saw this castle being built, gotta stop that. Uh, let's go over here. Alright, so Jake and Tanner are going crazy. Taylor is... Taylor is just freaking everywhere. Man, he's, he was such a force down the bottom, but then he's responding so well up here. Um, Tanner's forward building a castle. We have Jeff over here trying to do his best with these uh, Angudai. These Polish castles are cool. Um, all right, so Joe's coming over here to try and respond. It's just that's that's a lot of siege between the onagers, the scorpions, and the ballista elephants. And what on earth are these, Jake McKean? These are siege towers. Whoa, that's cool. Can Tanner use them? Can he populate them? Be on your team? I don't know. But that would be cool if we actually did get a couple oh, no. of these siege towers up here and just. I want to see someone use that strategy because that would be really cool. Um, yeah, that would just be awesome to actually see that happen. Uh, okay, so almost through this wall. Oh, missed this. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go. Let's go from Joe's view. Alright, so we have now plunged some troops. We have a hole. Uh, me and Larry are now plunging through. I have plunged through a couple of camels all the way back here to the trade, trying to keep them out of the range of this castle. Um, I don't know how effective they are. I mean, they, they probably do a little bit of the trade. I know they were there for quite a while. Larry plunged all the way back here. Um, he's in a different part of the trade. We have Jake and we have Tanner. They have now busted through the wall. Maybe not completely. They did. They busted through one section of the wall. Uh, but that's not going to last long. Um, we're down here. We're trying to forward build castles. Um, we do cut... So we do technically get in. It does not last too long. Um, I, I think Larry actually lasts a lot longer than I do. Um, yeah, man, this this is this is going nuts. We have the winged hussars from the poles. Joel's trying his best to do as much as he can. Is he actually using these? Is he using them to transport troops over? All right, so uh, they have busted a hole through the wall. Tanner's plunging his uh, his boyars through. Um, so we have cut through on multiple places. I'm still back here in the trade. Tanner or Taylor is slowly starting to take me out. He's building a castle to kind of fortify. Larry's over here in the back of the trade. Um, Tanner has now plunged through on his end. I don't see that there's a middle cut anywhere. Uh, Taylor and and Jeff are, are forced down here. So uh, they've they've shored up the wall because uh, I set my waypoint way back there in the trade, but uh, Barzy snuck in and, and built this wall. So uh, we're just trying to regroup, get some bombard cannons, take out this castle. But Taylor, I mean, he's he's got a ton of troops here. You have Barzy. Look, I mean, look at this. Look at all these forces that are just. We get through, and I'm like, okay, round two, and then all of this comes down. I'm like, no. Um, going back over here, Jeff is also trying to respond up here. Um, they're just they're doing some serious work. 
probably doesn't help that they have that Jeff has a lot of troops down here taking up pop space. Um, oh, I think I think they're gonna try and cut again. I think that's what Larry reacts to. Uh, let's see, we have some troops over here. This is going. Um, they should still a very very viable force. Doesn't look like they're slowing down. We got a lot of siege from Tanner and Jake, and they're just going forward. Tanner's building a lot of castles. Um, let's see, we finally busted through. Uh, Barge's little wall holding up the, the cut. Here we go. All right, so Jeff is starting to mobilize his troops. Taylor's trying to send some down. Barge is sending them down. Um, we're just trying to do as much as we can. We're trying to see if we can get through once more. Uh, I still have a single troop back here. Um, doesn't look like he's doing much. But we have Larry. Larry's still here. Larry's been in the trade for a long time. I mean, these do a, a really good job at helping him keep gold, though, because these heal the trade cards as well. Right? Yeah. Wow, those heal quick. Those heal really quick. Wow. Yeah, these things are freaking awesome. So I don't know how much these do, because they're not there long enough to actually kill anything before they can get away, and then they just start healing along the road, and they heal really quick. But I don't think it matters. We go over here. Jake and uh, Tanner are absolutely steamrolling through Joel, through Jeff, mostly through Joel. See, we're back down here. Um, yeah, there's just there's yeah, a lot. Skazan, yeah? I think at one point I just I see a ton come down, and I'm just like, I may have to back up their wall. Um, all right, so Tanner, Taylor's over here, Barry's over here. I uh, got a little bit of Jeff. Jeff looks like he cut through. Okay, so Jeff did cut through. And we were a little worried about it. I started to to wall off. Um, and then Larry's like, build a gate, build a gate, or delete. Like, because Taylor's like, or Larry's just ready. He's like, I'm going to go right back up that cut. And he did. So Larry's hitting him from over here. He eventually makes his way down here and helps me. I'm coming up through this end. Um, but I do I do get pushed back pretty hard from, uh, from Barzi and Taylor. Let's go back up here. All right, so Jake's now sending rams. Or sorry, um, yeah, Jake is sending a bunch of rams. Over here we have Jeff responding, we have Joel responding, uh, you do have Tanner still here with some infantry, uh, but Jake just has so many scorpions, he's got trebuchets, he's got rams, slowly sending forward, I don't know where this, where he's sending these trebuchets, um, oh, they're, they're really, really far in, um, alright, so we have a lot of Tanner, he is just, he's doing some work on the trade, he's got a bunch of boyars just parked here, uh, Joel's got this, basically this little wall here, but, I mean, there is a hole, um, Oh man, they're doing dirty things to Joel. Joel's got this full work. All right, so this is what happened. So eventually, I got backed up. I ended up trying to wall this off to try and stop the stop the bleeding. And then as soon as that happened, Larry came um, from this end and hit him from behind. It was all perfect timing. So then I came through. Um, I'm gonna build a couple castles here. Uh, Larry's gonna help me. I'm gonna get some siege. But even then, like I have like two castles here, and Taylor's still just freaking everywhere. Jeff's coming down here to try and respond. Taylor is over here. Um, I didn't realize that you guys were this far in their base. Taylor's up here too! Look at this! Alright, so Tanner and Jake are just... They are all over Joel. They have wiped out so much of Joel's eco. Um, they're doing a really good job of responding though. Uh, we have You have Jeff um, building castles trying to shore it up. Taylor has wrapped in the camels up here to try and stop the bleeding. Joel's got the Bombard Cannons. Um, I think there's just a few couple troops in the trade, but it, it's like, it's hard to actually kill the trade with these things because they heal so quick. Um, all right, so we're close. We have some we have some siege to respond. We're gonna get through again, and we're technically through. Um, so here, but here comes Taylor. He's gonna ruin all the fun. Taylor's coming through with so many camels. Um, like I said, I got some castles over here. Uh, Larry's also streaming up the middle, or side, just slightly off center. Um, go over here. Yeah, Taylor. Taylor is a freaking force because he gets so annoying down here, but then he's also up here. Um, Alright, so he's got some troops over here to kind of protect the trade. Joel is doing a really good job at trying to multitask, trying to rebuild, um, while being helped from Jeff and Taylor. Um, they're trying to hold back the, the wave. I think at one point I was like, okay, you know, we're doing good. You know, Tanner and Jake are going to hit up there. And then, then I was like, oh, wait, we got pushed out. Um, 
but that's okay. We have oh, we have Tanner. Okay, so Taylor is Taylor's got uh, stables all the way back in the trade. And he is just spewing troops down here to try and help out. Um, they have walled this up again, so they have kind of pushed not pushed us out, but they stopped the bleeding. Um, I'm just trying to send as many troops as I can here. I think at some point I am just super gold hungry. Uh, Joel has no food, no wood. Um, let's see. Let's look at actual ecos. Yeah, I finally have a little bit of gold. I must have just gotten that gold. Someone must have just tributed to me. Uh, Jake does not have gold. Um, Taylor does not have gold. How the heck is Taylor doing this with no gold? Unless he just had a crap ton of units queued up. Yeah, so Tanner is just, or Taylor is just everywhere. He's got, he's got these guys here. He is sending so many troops. Um, you have Taylor um, responding. Larry's over here with his paladins. Barzi's still alive and kicking. Um, we heard him a lot. But he's still, still alive. He's still sending some troops out. Um, Taylor, I mean, look at look at how many of these are. Taylor does a really, really good job at just uh, pushing us back. We do have a little bit of Jeff queued up a little bit in here. We have some pikemen, but mostly it's just Taylor and, uh, and Barzi. Even with these castles here that just absolutely shred um, camels, I just, I cannot get troops. I need to do better at like trying to pull troops, like mass them a little bit first and then send them in instead of just setting the waypoint right here. Um, that would probably, I think, help me quite a bit. All right, so it looks like Jake and Jeff have now come through again. They're doing their round two. They're starting to mass their siege again. Jake is sending petards. Petards? Petards? However you say it. Jake is doing... He is a very interesting mix. Awesome. He's sending monks, petards. He had siege towers. Never seen those before. Um, yeah, Jake is actually using monks. Jake is trying to wololo. Um... devastating over here. So we have Larry. Um, I just cannot get rid of, of Taylor. He just so much. Not until Larry comes. When Larry comes, I can kind of get rid of Taylor um, and then we can kind of work our way back. But oh, Taylor was just everywhere. It was so annoying. Offside. Barzi here. Barzi's, poor Barzi's got to worry about uh, two of us, both Larry and me. Um, Jake and Tanner are rolling over here. They have just absolutely obliterated these walls. Taylor has done a really good job at trying to back wall. Um, but it doesn't last too long. I mean, they get through it pretty easily. But it did hold them off for quite a bit. Alrighty. Look at these guys. I think the monks are more just healing more than they're converting. Because I think Jake said he had crap to monks and he only converted like two units. Um, Tanner's trying to forward build castles again. Uh, see, Larry and I. Okay, so Larry and I are finally starting to make some headway. I finally got to mass some troops. Um, camels don't last long, but once these are massed, these elephant archers are pretty good. Um, I had to swap to skirmishers every so often just because they don't cost gold, and I was just going through gold so quick. Joel is sitting on a mountain of gold. Wow. Um, Alright, so I got a couple of bumper cans here. Awesome. I don't know why they're targeting this. Uh, so I do have a hole in the wall. Um, I'm not sending any troops through at this moment. I think Larry's the one who says, hey, you got a hole in the wall, let's uh, let's go through it. So, uh, get another castle up here. Let's go back to Jake and Tanner. Jeff's just trying to plug up this hole. He's got a whole bunch of mango die, uh, which mango die I feel like don't do too much against Siege, but uh, that's, what, that's what the Mongols have. Jake's over here trying to um, put some more pressure on this side. Joel's doing a really good job of just kind of just staying in the game. Um, I think Joel can probably... Who's, uh, who's hurting for gold? Larry's hurting for gold. All right, so Joel, Joel has finally resigned. Um, I think it's because I, I eventually got in here. Taylor walled all the way back here, too. Gosh. So I finally got through, and I think I think it was too much between up here, they're, they're through... Um, Larry has a strong presence here. I got through over here. Um, I plunged some troops back, but yeah, there's some walls. Just got to be a little too much everywhere. GG. 
guys. Alrighty. So Tanner had the highest military score on that one. Um, him and Jake just absolutely dominating. Uh, Taylor had the highest for the other team, which absolutely makes sense. Larry had the best eco. Technology goes to Jake. Society goes to Tanner. Total score goes to Tanner. So Tanner was the MVP on round three um, for Jeff's record. Military Tanner. Most units killed. Jake, least units killed. Tanner was just basically being Jake's meat shield for all of his siege. Um, that's why he had the... Oh, no, he did not lose the most units. That was Taylor. Uh, buildings raised goes to Jake. Um, buildings lost. Me and Jake didn't lose any buildings. Is that right? Oh, I guess that's true. Um, units converted two for Jake. Largest army goes to Taylor. Actually, let me... All right, so talking about this, I need to... Yeah, they pointed this out right here. Uh, yeah, so I didn't lose any buildings because no one really advanced in. But if someone did, this would have been very bad. I Shame upon you. Uh, Larry still had stone walls. So it is a very good idea that we cut early because if someone would have cut like right here, or even right here, this would have been devastating. If someone cut right here, and this is only a stone wall, so that would have fell so quick, uh, that would have that would have been pretty bad. Or just straight up got in right there. So, uh, no, did it freeze on me? How do I get back to, back to the statistics? No! Sometimes my computer does this. Like sometimes it like the menu will not pop up. Sometimes if I do this, it'll pop up. Dang it! I'm gonna have to end the recording here. Well, I showed you most of the statistics. The only thing we didn't get to see were castles. Oh, there we go. Okay, sometimes it just Henri. Um, eco. So Tanner had the most food. Uh, looks like this is Jeff down here. Jeff had the. Most wood. Jake had the stone. Larry took uh, the most gold. However, Tanner had the most trade profit. Um, looks like Tanner sent the most, and it was all going towards Larry. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, 10,000, 24,000. Okay, so Larry received the most tribute. Um, Jake sent the most tribute. That's that's what it was. Jake sent 31,000 tribute. That is a crap ton. Um, and that is so much. Good job, Jake. I know I was I was receiving a little bit over there. Yeah, I received quite a bit as well. And mostly just gold. Uh, technology goes to feudal castle goes to Jeff. Uh, Jake took the imperial age. And castles goes to Tanner, which would make sense. Um, Taylor takes the relics and relic gold. Uh, Larry and Jeff tie with the villager high. And yeah, there we go. GG, guys. Um, yes, yeah, so once again, Tanner had the, the MVP score, but special shout out to them up top. Special shout out to Taylor. I mean, Taylor was freaking everywhere. And Larry, Larry will agree with me because we were just, Taylor was such a problem down in the bottom, but yet. He was such a problem up north. Um, he was backwalling over in the south, over in the north. Yeah, so uh, Taylor, I think, wins MVP for the other team. Um, and then Tanner, well well deserved. Did a really good job, and, and Jake supporting him was just forced to be reckoned with. All right, GG, guys. Until next time.